brought to you by GTA. We start with you. It's interesting that when you're running for senator or elected positions, you had, you had to get police clearance and you had to get court clearance. Uh, they want to clear you of felonies and they also want to look at your finances. But there's no question about drug testing for elected officials. If you've ever turned in a GovGuam employment application, you're probably familiar with the seemingly inevitable nature of drug screening during the hiring process. And it may come as a bit of a surprise, but it turns out elected government officials play by a different set of rules. Bill 56-36, introduced by Minority Leader Senator James Moylan, is aiming to change that. We're basically at war against illegal substances. Um, so I, I say, you know, if we're going to elect an official, then test them for drugs, right? Make sure we don't have any conflict. Uh, so when we make those tough decisions that we can do it in the best interest of the public and we don't have any vices that we should be concerned of. We understand that um, as elected officials, you get, you're entrusted by the public. The public is trusting you, right? And, and we had to um, hold that standard especially when we're writing laws for senators. In a press release sent out last week in reference to the Port Authority's drug policy, Moylan writes, quote, the very individuals making these decisions and having these conversations are not held to the very standard as those employees in public service for whom we are making these decisions for, end quote. And with the bill's intention set to increase transparency from elected officials, you'd think it would be smooth sailing. But Moylan says this isn't the first time a measure like this is seeing the legislative floor. Back in the 35th Guam legislature, you know, back in 2019, we did the same attempt. Then the situation, of course, uh, with the majority was 10-5, and that bill didn't get far at all. This time, though, we, we have a different dynamics in the 36th Guam legislature with an 8-7, and we can see now is, uh, we've had instances where an elected official was uh, convicted of uh, illegal dealings with substances, right? And, and I think that really hurt the public trust. And he's hoping his colleagues this time around will help this bill get signed into law. I would expect uh, support, complete support. I, I sure hope so. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Peter Santos.